Hi, this is Quant Nomad. Welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at new version 6 of PineScript. And in this video, I will concentrate on the most interesting features and also I will address uh, the most frequent um, issues you might have during your migration from version 5 to version 6. So here's the official um, migration guide from TradingView. Uh, you can read. Um, uh, read it and see um, what's going on, but I will try to summarize the most um, kind of uh, interesting fe features of it. So first of all, if you just want to convert it from version 5 to version 6, actually most likely you don't need to do anything. So you can click on this button in your Pine Editor and find this um, button convert to version 6. When you press it, Training will show you side by side your old code and new code, how do they want to change it for you. And you can click apply and you'll have your uh, script with the version six. So it's not all good. So you sometimes might have some of the issues. So um, I will address them in this video just to tell you what you can expect. So uh, let's look at the features and um, start from most exciting ones. So the, the one I like the most is actually that now uh, your request the security function can get dynamic symbols. And what it means is that, for example, here I have a small example where I can create um, an array of uh, symbols and then in the loop I can go and request every element of my loop and get the data from it from security function and then I can for example, push this all to array, then I can do something with array and I'll put it for you and so on. And um, on, on its own, it doesn't sound very exciting, but um, if you uh, want to create like complex um, indicator of strategies, you can, it will help you a lot. So just to give you a kind of rough example, so here I created like a small live portfolio tool, but what you can do now is that you don't need to output, to input all the symbols and values one by one in inputs. What you can do is you actually can pass here CSV file. And this file can be, for example, export from trading you screener, for example, or it can be filed from your brokerage or whatever. So it can be pretty powerful and can help you automate your indicators and strategy even a bit more. So um, in terms of another features that uh, people had issues with, and I get what quite a lot of questions about them. So uh, in uh, strategy um, now, uh, train you put margin long and margin, mar margin short parameters to 100. And I think uh, below, before it was um, zero, but now it's 100. So now if you use pyramiding quite often, you can have margin calls on, on your positions and people don't really know what it means and how to fix it. So idea is that just go to your strategy settings and adjust these values to your needs, or you just can um, put them in the strategy function call here on top to zeros again, just to have the same behavior you had before. Another feature that actually um, influenced me quite a lot and I had a couple of indicators I had to rewrite them uh, after that is that um, now Pinescape works with bull variables differently. So first of all, uh, none of um, functions that work with not available values working from f with, the, with the bulls now. So, you know, and that won't work and they won't work, fix none won't work with the bulls. So you just need to rewrite it a bit different ways and also they stop to cast like integer floats to bulls. So uh, sometimes you have like um, values, this kind of values in your ifs, this won't work. You just need to write them to explicitly check, for example, integer that it's not zero, something like this. Another um, big change is that now when parameter of strategy entry is deprecated, so you cannot use this anymore. So now you just need to use it like that. So just if uh, your parameter, your a condition, for example, and then you use strategy entry kind of inside an if. So this is now the only option. So they completely duplicated it. Uh, so they removed also um, a trans parameter from all plotting functions. So here, for example, I have BG plot, and I have a kind of green color for the background, and this transparency argument doesn't exist anymore. So now what you can do is that you need to um, 
kind of create another color with color new, pass your color and then specify your transparency. So this way it will work fine. And the last um, feature I want to um, highlight is that now in arrays you uh, have negative indices. And I think it can be quite useful. So for example, if you want to get like the last value of an array, you can say, okay, I want to get minus one as a, as a parameter of get function, and then it will get you like the last variable for an array. It's much more convenient way to um, get kind of some of the values of arrays. And for me, I think this update version six is not so significant. So it's it, it, you can think about this as a kind of marginal changes, but I think it's more important what it allows them to do. So um, we have a couple of new pretty exciting features when, for example, in terms of alerts, you can now create an alert based on entire watch list. And I think this is thanks to version six of PineScript. So they changed something for it to work efficiently. And so here, for example, I created like a, an alert that will run on more than 500 instruments at the same time. And of course it will help save quite a lot of time for quite a lot of people who has quite a lot of alerts. Another feature is of course Pine Screener when you can use um, like PineScript code to screen through your watch lists and have it in a nice table. It also I think is pretty cool. So in short, I think that this um, is not a very big update, but I think PineScript is, is going into a very good direction. We have new and new very exciting feature appearing in, in training view and allowing us to make more and more complicated uh, scripts and instruments. So if you want to learn more about um, PineScript version 6, I have a course in my Contribe community. I will um, leave uh, the link in, in the description. So check it out. So thank you for watching. See you next one.